When a grower is taking a look at his spring planting, one of the big things he needs to focus on is what his soil fertility program is going to be. When taking into consideration spring nutrient management, we always look to the four R's, the right product, the right time, the right place, at the right rate. But I always like to consider that there's a fifth R, the right soil test to make the four R decision. In years when commodity prices are low, sometimes farmers resort to the fact that they want to reduce their fertilizer cost to save money. But realistically, in the big picture, this is not a sound decision to make. Reduced applications of phosphorus and potassium will shortchange future crop yields. For 2015 and 2016, the Corn Belt experienced record corn yields. One of the things that must be taken into consideration is that with record yields comes record removals. In the case of 250 bushel corn, potassium is removed at a rate of nearly 50 pounds per acre. These things need to be taken into consideration for making the budgets for this coming year's fertilizer. For farmers who apply fall nitrogen, this past fall's weather was not conducive for applying fertilizer. In this case, spring applications and side dress applications should be considered. One should consider split applications of nitrogen, 50% down pre-plant with 50% applied side dress. This makes maximum use in terms of nitrogen efficiency and takes into consideration changes in weather. When fertilizer prices are low, should a farmer increase his fertilizer application rates? Many things have to come into this consideration. The price of commodities, the price of the fertilizer, and how this affects his bottom line. Growers should always prepare for the best season possible. In that, they have the optimum fertility program and have chosen the best hybrids to take advantage of the optimum yield potential for that season. The consequence for not preparing for the best year will result in lower yields and a lower bottom line.